Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today I'm going to do tutorial on the January 2018 question on inventory management. Okay, it involve remember that we learn about EOQ, POQ, quantity discount, and then what we have to do when we get when we read the question first, you need to determine which one uh, that you will. Uh, apply here okay so the clue uh, to decide whether it's which formula to use either the obvious one is POQ or quantity discount is to look at the question so for this question if you see maximum inventory level is IMAX so IMAX definitely is belong to POQ so you get the clue there okay and then the other thing is when you see they're talking here about are parts okay parts they they produce the parts and they use the parts so definitely it's a POQ and there is no price for the parts yeah there's no P for the item okay we just only have the holding cost we have the ordering cost but there's no price so for POQ there's there's no price involved but for quantity discount yes price is very important because they offer you a different price for for the quantity that you buy so if you look at this question definitely you know it must be p o q first the clue is here uh, there's the word imax here okay maximum inventory and they don't talk about the price of the product okay and then they talk about the producing parts and they use the part so definitely it's a POQ okay let's see what information we have here so we know this is a POQ let's find the information we start with the first one 800,000 parts of spring yearly so definitely you know that is the demand annual demand okay it's the capital D D equal to 800,000 Okay, let's see. There's another information here. They have two forming machine that makes or produce the spring. So, that is uh, related to the uh, uh, parts that they're going to use. And then they say that the forming machine, each forming machine produces 2,500 parts daily. The word daily, that means they produce every day. So, from this information, we know that two one machine and each one machine produce 2500 so we get 5000 spring per day okay we, we don't we we don't have to decide whether it's a, a p or u okay small p or small u okay now we have an information on the working days so they, they have 264 working days per year and then we have the holding cost h uh, 2 ringgit and then we have S or ring cost is 30 ringgit okay. so we have the information needed and when we look at the first question we want us to calculate the economic quantity order so, so that is the Q okay. every uh, question in inventory they will ask you to find the Q first okay. so for this one remember for POQ we have in a formula sheet so make sure you use the right Q so POQ they have extra here okay they have small p and small u so now we have D we have S we have H we don't have we don't know which one is P and U okay it's easy to determine which one which okay we have another information here okay 8000 is the demand and they have the working day so you can you can find the daily demand or the daily usage of the spring so in here we have 800,000 divided by, by 264 days of working so we have 3031 per day so remember you must round up okay round up so now we have these two information so we need to decide which one is p small p and which one is u okay so the rule of thumb here the production the daily production it must be bigger than the usage daily usage in which the spring must produce more before you can install the spring in your other product okay so 
for definitely you have two value here so we know that p must be bigger so this is going to be uh, p and definitely this is going to be u so now you have all the information you can calculate the q all right so you plug in all the information here and then you get uh, 7,807 which I have round up okay so next so we have answer part A now we're going to part question B okay what will be the maximum inventory level and the total annual cost so this is the IMAX and this is the TC so this information that we calculated earlier so IMAX formula is Q over P and we divide uh, we times p minus u so we have p we have u so definitely we have q so we can easily uh, calculate the imax and the tc remember use the p o q t c in which they have imax here and then we start with the imax plug in all the information you have here so you you round up to 3075 units and then you can calculate the tc right you see, it's D, demand you have S over Q, remember to use this Q, okay? And then here you have I max, you calculated earlier, uh, you can, yeah, this one. And then times 2 is the holding cost and divide by 2, so these are the total costs, okay? And uh, question C, oh, there's a changes, okay? demand decrease and one of forming machine breakdown so they ask you to calculate Q again I max and total cost so we look at information so decrease 20% so D gonna be new D so decrease 20% so we have left with the 80% so 0 0.8 times the 800,000 so we have 640,000 and then there's the changes in the forming machine that's related to P. So the P new going to be only one machine available. Remember, we have 2,500 for one machine. So we only have 2,500 parts per day. Okay. And then what other else? Okay. You gonna be changed because remember the demand already changed, so you have to recalculate the new U. So the new demand is 640,000, then the day is still the same 264. So when I run out, I round up, I got 2425. So now we need to calculate the new Q, right? So the new Q with the new information, okay, new P, new U, new D. We get 25,299. Okay, apply round up. And then they want us to calculate the IMAX. So this is the IMAX formula. Plug in all the information. You get 759. And then they ask you for the total annual cost in which you have this formula. Remember in the formula sheet. So you plug in all the information. You get 1,517 and 92 ringgit. Okay, now, we look at question B. B asks us to compare the previous cost that we have calculated. Okay, so the first and whether it, the operation is efficiency or not. We have to, to decide yes or no. Okay, so this is the first part that we calculated earlier, right? With the D at 100,000. Remember, there's no change. So, our cost was 6,000. 149 ringgit and 60 cent, 16 cent, and this is the part C. Remember, we, there are changes in the demand, there are changes on the product, daily production, okay, because one machine has broke down. So, this is the total cost we calculated, 1,570.92 ringgit. So, how to decide is it efficient or not? So, we need to see the difference. So, the first one, you, uh, the cost is higher than the second one. So what you can say, yes, it, it is uh, efficient because the annual cost uh, have reduced. Okay, they reduced from six thousand to one thousand five hundred seventeen and ninety two cent. 
So what we need, we have to, to calculate the difference in which you minus this cost with this cost and you get 4,631 ringgit and 24 cents. So you have answer A, B, C when they have some changes. And finally, D, you have to, to, to decide. Okay, you have to, to answer whether it is efficient or not. So we compare in the term of total cost. So, which one give the lower total cost? It means efficient. If the total cost is higher, so it's not efficient. For this case, we can conclude that yes, the operation is efficient, DO2, or Y, because of the annual total cost reduced. So, what's the difference? So, you just minus the uh, 6,000 with the 1,005. So I think that's all. So I hope you understand. Please read the question carefully. I look out for the information that very important that you need to find the Q and then you can find the IMAX and the total cost. So follow the steps. Okay. So I hope you understand and I'll see you again. Okay. Thank you.